Chris, congratulations. That was a bit of a nail biter to book your place in the knockout stages of the Grand Slam. How are you feeling after that one? Overwhelmed. Um, I, I, I say I like to make it exciting, but that wasn't exciting for me. Um, trying to close that game out. Uh, the the double sixteen, I think it was my worst nightmare tonight. And uh, yeah, I, I had in my head my next shot. If if I could, I was gonna get away from sixteen. Even though they weren't bad badly thrown darts, but yeah, I'm, I'm just happy to get that win um, and put on an actually decent performance because um, the first two games were were shocking. I had to come out here and put on a performance and yeah, get that job done. The scoreline says it was quite close, but do you feel it was a game you, you dominated and could have won it comfortably? I think I controlled it early on. Like I said, I could have been 3-4-1. or oh, no, I was 3-1, but he does what he does. He, he never rules himself out. Um, he's a fighter. Um, and, yeah, he's a, he's a great lad all round. And obviously, nothing but respect after the game, as as you would always imagine. And it's just nice to... To come out on top, um, he's beaten us the last few times as well on TV, so yeah, it's nice to get one on him. You've been behind the eight ball in this group since the opening defeat. What's the pressure like on your shoulders, having been heavily beaten in that first game? Um, I wouldn't say there was any pressure. Um, it's just if I, if I perform, I win, simple as. Uh, I, I didn't perform at all against Josh, and he was a deserved winner, even though I could have won the opening two legs against Josh, and then against Berry, I could have... I think missed two darts to go 4 1 up. That could have been curtains. I could have had a couple of big wins, uh, but I didn't turn up. And yeah, I'm just glad. Glad tonight was was a decent performance. James Wade, up next, the man that has just ended Michael Smith's winning run here at the Grand Slam. A, a tough assignment? Yeah, of course. You know what you're going to get with James. Um, you, you can't you can't give him time. Uh, you've got to take your checkouts because any, any finish. Um, he's going to be there and, and he's going to want to pounce on it um, he beat us in the competition on my me, on me debut yeah. Uh, so that's in the back of my hand I want to I wanna give him a bit of revenge and yeah I won the last meeting on TV against him as well so I'm, I'm feeling confident going into that one Chris many congratulations cheers man thank you Chris how much are you looking forward to the extended format as well has it almost become like a new tournament given the, the gap between the group and yeah the format uh, now it suits me because um, as you can tell I get off to a slow start and yeah Going two nil down in a race to five, it's it's hard work, and you've got that extra little bit room and just to pull yourself around. And yeah, the, I think the format all around suits me. You said you're looking for a bit of revenge over James. We beat him in the match play. You know what it takes to beat him on the big stage. Yeah, of course, but you you, you never rule yourself out. Um, you can never rule James out. He's won so many big competitions, and he just does what he does. You know, he could play a poor. He could. You know, not score at all, but give him that one shot, one big finish, he'll take it. And I'm going to have to be on my game again against James, and I'm going to go back, chill out, and obviously have a good practice tomorrow and be ready for him. Cheers, Chris. Cheers. Chris, what do you have to do in a couple of days' time to beat James Wade? Just go in with the same mindset I, I normally do. Um, obviously, I, I feel good in my overall game, um, how I adapted, especially being last on tonight. I could have been in the practice room, I could have pra over practiced, but I kept myself right and yeah, I'm just going to do more of the same and hopefully I can get that job done. Did the mindset change at all after that first group game, knowing that you probably needed to win your last two to make it through? Not not one bit. Um, obviously, you go up to win every game anyway, so you can't, you can't be thinking you, if you don't win... Um, a certain amount of legs you could be out you just go to win no matter how many legs you don't go to give them legs anyway but uh, you just go and get the try and get the job done and luckily for me I've gotten that job done tonight and uh, yeah I'm just happy to get it I know it's a slightly different format but do you think the Premier League experience and things like that maybe help tonight under those pressure situations especially over the short formats yeah I think Premier League's helped my overall game all year um, I think I've kicked on from that the experience on TV showed um, I've reached back-to-back quarter-finals as well, so I just want to better that. I want to, I want to go on to to start winning things again. Um, I haven't won a title, obviously, since the Masters. Um, so yeah, I think the way I've been playing over the last year or so, I think I probably should have won one or more, a few more titles than I than I have done. So I'll be hoping to kick on from that and start picking up these titles. <laughs>